Hello guys, today we're going to have a look at different gears that you can get on eBay fairly cheaply. I have two different sets here, I got this one a couple of weeks ago and this one fairly recently because I wanted these big gears to do the slewing mechanism on the excavators. The first set I got here, that cost €4.56, Euros, so €4.56 Euros and it contains 75 pieces and they're all fairly small this kit was 453 and it contained these bigger gears and the reason I wanted these bigger gears is you can see some of these come with the output for the N20 gear motors so they fit straight on there. that one's pretty big but there is one in here that fits it and uh, so obviously I wanted those large gears to drive you know, to drive the slew mechanism. So you might have a gear like this on the N20 motor and the mating gear on the other side of the excavator model. So that's pretty basic. So if we take a look at this older kit first to see what kind of things you can expect to get. You can see there are some racks there if you need. Uh, maybe you want to make a, a steering or for something you could just say if you were building a combine harvester or something maybe you'd make a steering rack with one of those it's pretty big just get your gear motor and mate it up to that you have some belts in this one or some elastic bands some elastic bands there because in this kit it comes with lots of these little pulleys so little pulleys like this you just put them on your on your motor find the one that uh, fits the motor and um, lots of different little wheels there's here's a pulley with two holes either side of the axle you might want to use that say if you were trying to mate to the wheel of a model you could screw the two outside holes into the inside of the wheel so it's hidden behind the wheel rim and then if, like this for example not this one obviously this is off a CQ uh, it's already set up for a CQ tractor but if you if you had a different model that didn't have this arrangement, you could screw this inside here. You'd never spot it from the outside, and you could then attach your axle to the central one here. So you could do something like that with, with those type of gears. Um, there's lots of there's lots of different types of gears in this kit. So you could make a you could make a gearbox pretty simply by just matching up the different gears that you need. It all depends on what you really are trying to do for a model car we'll say if you're trying to make a if you're trying to make a slot car go faster you could buy a kit like this and try lots of different gear ratios to make your car go as fast as you possibly can for a model tractor you might try to make a gearbox that was a high torque low speed gearbox but the problem there is the, these are all nylon gears so if you put too much force on them they're, they're going to break so they're probably not ideal for that kind of application. So if you had a, a light model like a Massey 135 or something really small you might just want to put a transport box or something on the back of it. Something that's not going to uh, be very heavy to pull and just always use the, the same thing. Don't be switching out for trailers and stuff or, or pick a trailer that suits it and you can mount your electronics in the trailer but if you're going to do that then you'd have a fairly light model you might get away with using a worm gear on a just a normal motor and say mating it with a crown gear or any of these gears that will mate to the model you know the the bigger this gear you choose the more leverage you're going to have over the wheels but obviously you need more space above the axle to mount your motor something like this crown gear is fairly fairly close to the axle so your, your motor would be pretty low so you shouldn't take up too much space but uh, you're gonna have to drive the motor fairly slowly because if you're driving a motor directly like this it's probably going to be pretty fast you know, these CQ motors they're geared down a lot to get them to a realistic uh, speed but um, the other side of that is they have metal gears so they can have a lot of uh, pushing power Whereas these nylon gears, they're not going to be able to stick it. So you could maybe do something like that. So that kit had lots of pulleys and different accessories like that in it. 
this other kit is nearly geared more towards the bigger motors to the N20 gear motors that kind of thing and uh, you can see we have much larger diameter uh, axles that you would mount these on we also have the gears with the key in it for the N20 gear motors which is very very useful and um, we have a couple of uh, different types of gears uh, very similar most of them to the other kit but again the these larger gears for the for the bigger motors uh, they're pretty they're fairly useful well uh, you can see that uh, we have two different types of gears here that will suit the N20 gear motors and if you look closely you can see the teeth on this one are square so this one is designed to work with these large gears and that's the kind of one that I'm using on the slew mechanism there's also this kind of gear which has a uh, much sharper teeth on it so it's clearly designed to work with these light nylon gears so you can see this mates perfectly with the rack here so you could use this type of gear with your N20 gear motor say you had uh, say you wanted to drive an axle of your tractor you could mount your N20 gear motor I have one here you could mount this gear motor, this is geared down hugely so you could stick this gear on the output shaft here stick one of these gears on the axle and you'd have a very strong motor but it's most likely that this gear will break because it's pretty light it's not uh, these gears, little steel gears, they'll be very very strong so and the most of pressure is going to be on this gear which is tiny so you're likely to to break this gear first that doesn't matter because these gears are very cheap so and you have a huge amount of replacements you, maybe you could double them up maybe there's a uh, there's some matching gears in here there's ones that are the same size so if you if you drill them through and bolted them together that might be strong enough to hold the pressure from uh, from an RC tractor and if you could use a gear like this or a motor like this you have a lot of power, a lot of power. This motor would have much more power than a CQ motor. But again, the, the final drive on this one is going to be nylon to nylon, which wouldn't be great. But, um, you know, it's something different. You can, this this is very limited in the orientation that you can mount it. You can mount this one lengthways in the model. So, you need a wide model for this motor. You could mount one of these narrow uh, motors lengthways in a in a model. So say you got a big crown gear like that, you could mount it like that in the model. You should have a uh, you could mount that in a much narrower model than you could. These these are kind of only you, you pretty much need a really big CQ model to do this. So the Massey 8680 and the Fent 936 were kind of around about the size of a model you'd need for this. Well, without cutting half the body away you could squeeze that into a smaller model but it'd just be a little bit more work so we've seen that we can mount these gears to the N20 gear motors but let's think about what these gears are really for think of we're buying these from China so they're most likely for cheap consumer electronics like CD players and stuff like that disc drives in DVD players that kind of thing that's probably what they're primarily designed for or maybe just for toy cars and stuff like that now, if we take a look at some of the salvaged motors, here's a motor that came out of some sort of uh, see. I think this came out of a car radio actually, car tape player maybe. So you look at that. There's a there's a pulley that I'm sure we probably have something very similar in here. I mean, there's not much difference in those pulleys, you know. So this is probably the kind of cheap consumer application that it's been designed for, just to make to. Uh, standard motors so if we take a look we have uh, there's the same motor so if we have a look at our gears that must be big we'll probably be able to find one that will press fit on there fairly easily there you go there's a gear that press fits onto that shaft so you can see that the the shaft dimensions of this of these gears have been chosen so that they will press fit onto a standard motor because that's, that's basically all they want, you know. So we have a number of different uh, shaft diameters here because you have motors with lots of different uh, shaft dimensions. So if you look through the gears, you're bound to find a gear that will fit 
whatever motor it is you happen to be looking for. And there's another one, a nice small little motor. Um, we have a tidy little, uh, little gear for that. So if we get another crown gear there, we could mount that inside a tractor. It'd have to be a very light tractor because obviously we're not. Um, we don't have a very high gear ratio. This is probably going to be way too fast for a tractor anyway. But say if you were building a, a little car, that'd be ideal for a little slot car. That'd be very fast, I'd say. Here's a very big motor. This one is geared down a huge amount. You could probably find a gear for it. And there's a gear that already fits it. So you know, even even these large gears, you can find um, you can find a gear to fit that. Actually, that's probably this is actually a keyed output shaft. It's the same as the N20 gear motor, I'd say. Yeah, there you go. So the key gears fit this big motor as well so they're all clearly designed and this would be a very old motor, this motor is probably 15 years old um, so they're all designed to work to a kind of standard standard motor sizes if we look back to the, the video I done on the cheap gear motors that you can get from eBay here's a, a little motor with a, a little gearbox and you can see that these gears are clearly just gears from this kit that they've used to make this so if you were working on a model where you wanted to be able to adjust the gears I'm sure you could get a, a kit like this get uh, more of these, These, this is some sort of gear mounted block, it's nearly like Lego only with uh, bolts so I'm sure you can find these these little block sections on eBay somewhere and with that you could build yourself quite a strong gearbox from uh, by mixing and matching the gears and you could change your gear ratios very easily I mean this is only held on with uh, little uh, these little end pieces that just slide on to the uh, shafts and you know they're press fit again so that kind of thing you have uh, a lot of options with these kind of motors but again that's too big for uh, most 132 scale applications you'd want a, a bigger bigger model if you're going to be working on stuff like that well that's all there is to these uh, cheap eBay gears so if you like that video give it a thumbs up and uh, if you have any comments or suggestions post them in the forum or post them below the video here and I'll try and answer them. And that's everything so thanks very much for watching.